Okay, second learn tip number 41, new in version 0.23. Use drop equals if binary with one hot encoder to drop the first category only if it's a binary feature, meaning it has exactly two categories. So let's take a look. We've got two unordered categorical features, also known as nominal features. And shape has three possible values. Color has two possible values. So we're going to use one hot encoder to encode both of them numerically by creating dummy variables. And we're going to do this three different times and compare the differences. So first we are going to use drop equals none, which is the default for one hot encoder. And it creates one feature column per category. So thus you can see that shape becomes three columns and color becomes two columns. Next we're going to use drop equals first and that actually drops the first category in each feature. So shape instead of becoming three columns becomes two columns and color instead of becoming two columns instead becomes one column. Now this is allowed because when you use one hot encoder, one column always contains redundant information. And so dropping it avoids multicollinearity. Now, I actually don't recommend using drop equals first. And I talk about why in tip 15. So you can go watch that video if you want to know more details. But in brief, number one, there's usually no predictive benefit in dropping the first column of each one hot encoded feature. Number two, drop equals first is incompatible with handle unknown equals ignore, which is a useful option. And reason number three, drop equals first is likely problematic if you standardize all features or if you use a regularized model, um, both of which are common. So again, you can watch tip 15 if you want to know more about that. Now, our third example here is what this tip today is really about. So we're using drop equals if binary, and this is what's new in scikit-learn.23. This drops the first category only if it's a binary feature, meaning a feature with two categories. So with drop equals if binary, shape is encoded as three columns, just like it was when using drop equals none. But color is encoded as one column, just like it was when using drop equals first. So what's the reasoning behind this particular option? I've read through all of the development notes on GitHub, and the justification for it was a bit fuzzy to me. It was something along the lines of it being most interpretable to remove a redundant column in the binary case, but not in the non-binary cases. So again, this is a bit fuzzy to me as to the justification for using this. If it's clear to you why you would use this option, definitely let me know in the comments and I'd love to understand it better. As for me, I see drop equals if binary as having the same exact problems as drop equals first. So I'm gonna continue to use drop equals none, but because you might see these out there in the real world, I wanted you to be aware of the impact of using each of these three options.